My friends, today's gospel asks us one simple question. How am I living my Christian life? Am I a Christian who carry out my Christian commitment daily or a lukewarm Christian? As a Christian, we are all invited to carry out our Christian commitment daily that is sharing the light of Christ with others. And this is precisely the same light that we have received during our baptism. For example, when we baptize a child, we give a candle with light as a sign. It is the light that is the gift of God. It is the Christ light. It is a true light. It is the light of the Holy Spirit that does not go off. It always burns. It is not an artificial light that goes off. So we, not, we must not hide that light. We must not cover it. And when we cover that light, or when we hide that light, we become a lukewarm Christians, or Christians simply in name. So question we might ask, how can I share that light with others? And today's first reading, the book of Proverbs, tells us how to share the Christ light. First and foremost, by doing good, by doing good to others. The first reading, the book of Proverbs, tells us to always do good. And when we fail to do good, we cover or we hide the, the light of Christ. And when we hide the light of Christ, our lives becomes dark. So the advice, the first book, the, the, the book of Proverbs gives us today is not to preserve the good, not to preserve the light of Christ. It is not meant to be kept in the fridge. In other words, do not postpone good for tomorrow. What can I do today? The good that I can do today, do it today. The book of Proverbs gives us another advice to share the light of Christ. That is, do not plot evil against your brother who trusts you. Do not take advantage of your brother or neighbor, neighbor's trust. When we do, we cover or we hide the light of Christ. Another advice the book of Proverbs gives us today, do not hold grudges. This is very common today with us. When brother hurts me or sister hurts me, we hold grudges. It is better to let go and forgive others. So let us listen to these advices that we have received from the first reading, which are concerning to our daily life, which is concerning to our Christian life, so that we may, so that we may become the children of light and not the children of darkness. Let us guard and share this light of Christ with others. And it is a gift that God has given to us at our own baptism. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to give us his graces to help us not to cover or hide the light of Christ that does so much good. The goodness is this, it is a light of friendship, it is a light of meekness, it is a light of patience, hope and love. 